This conference will now be recorded. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh, nice. This one, remove it. Move it forward, yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. A little bit back. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I welcome you today as we celebrate mercy. I welcome you today as we celebrate the orphans and the elderly in our community. My name is Medina Lawal Famuditimi. I'm the founder and CEO of Rafiki Foundation. At Rafiki Foundation, our mission is to mentor and guide struggling Muslims to the right part of Islam, using the Adit, the Sunnah, and the Holy Quran. We have learned Ustas that give out, that give, we have learned Ustas that give Dawah on Facebook, on, is that give Dawah or is it okay? Yeah. We have learned Ustas that give dower on Facebook, on our WhatsApp group, and physically at in and physically we have land ustas that give dower on Facebook and on our WhatsApp group. We also do give dower activities. We also have numerous dower activities going on in Nigeria. Since our inception in 2014, we've grown from a two-person team to a team of 23 members. By Allah's mercy, we now have team members across four countries with majority of our staff in Nigeria. Rafiki Foundation is registered. Rafiki Foundation is a registered 501c profit. Rafiki Foundation is a registered 501c nonprofit in the US and Nigeria. Through Allah's mercy, we've touched the lives of many in the USA, Nigeria, Rwanda, and Nigeria Republic. We pray that we'll be able to touch more. We pray that we will be able to touch many more lives across many countries in the near future, inshallah. With support from our committed donors, 
we've been able to support our DAWA, we've been able to support our DAWA activities with emphasis on enlightening, with emphasis on enlightening struggling Muslims about the practice of Islam. We've partnered with other Islamic organizations in Nigeria, focusing on giving new reverts Islamic books. We've partnered with other Islamic organizations in Nigeria. We've partnered with other nonprofits in Nigeria, focusing on new reverts and providing them the Quran and other Islamic books that will benefit them in understanding the practice of Islam. We also go to different madrasa and work with the, the teachers by giving students the Quran, hijabs, and other Islamic books. What other Dawa thing do we do? Um, I'm just going to be trimming. This is the last. This year, in 2000, in this year, by Allah's mercy, we introduced the, the village Dawa. This year in 2020, right? This year, we were able to introduce Village Dower, which allow us to go to different rural area in Nigeria. This year, we introduced the Village Dower. This allow us to go to rural areas in Nigeria to preach the words of Allah. Of his mother, to please stop. I can hear her. Please tell her to stop. In addition to carrying out Dawa activities, we also engage in Sadaka Jaria projects. One of our Sadaka, one of our Sadaka Jaria projects is providing clean water. One of our Sadaka Jaria projects is providing clean water. We partner with Masjid by providing them wells, or we, we partner with local Masjids by providing them wells, and Boho, which allow them we provide clean water to masjids and communities across Nigeria. We partner with local imams by giving them a boho or well water and granting their, their, their and granting their immediate local communities clean water access by granting their local communities by granting their local communities clean water access we we also work with local local communities across nigeria by providing communities clean water Another of our major projects is Ramadan feeding. We feed the poor in the month of Ramadan across Nigeria. Through Allah's mercy, this year we fed thousands of people. 
even even though we feed the poor in the month of Ramadan across Nigeria. We glory, we give, we feed the poor in the month of Ramadan across Nigeria. This year, we were able to feed thousands of people across Nigeria, even when we were at the peak of COVID-19. Alhamdulillah. Another of our big projects is supporting children. Another of our big project is supporting children during back to school. We support children with school bags, uniforms, notebooks, and other essential school supplies that are needed during the school year. You will be amazed the amount of children that go to school with no school sandal, school uniform, or school supplies. With our, with help, from our donors, we are able to provide necess we are able to provide necessary school school we are able to provide necessary school supplies to children across Nigeria. Zakatul Mall is also one of our project. Zakatul Mall is also one of our projects. We empower people within local communities across Nigeria. Empowering the, we empower the poor and um, Zakatul Mall is also one of our big projects. We empower the poor and provide, we empower the poor. Zakatul Mall is also one of our big projects. We empower the poor and Zakatul Mall is also one of our big projects. Empowering the poor and providing health support. Empowering the poor and providing health support with donated zakat to more fund. We reach out to befitting individuals through our selection process and help them set up a business. We also visit hospitals to help the sick with hospital bill. Please tell your daddy. He doesn't know. Please, because he's going to be screaming everywhere now. Please tell your daddy, please. Another of our big projects at Rafiki Foundation is Zakatul Mall. We empower the poor and we provide health support with the donated and we provide health support with donated Zakatul Mall funds. We reach out to debiting individuals through our solution process and help them set up a business. We also visit hospitals to help the sick with their hospital bills. Late October this year, early October this year, we introduced a new program 
called the Orphans and Elderly Sponsorship. Through our Orphans and Elderly Sponsorship, we are providing monthly help and support to orphans and elderly. Early this year, early in October of this year, we introduced a new program called the Elfans and Elderly Sponsorship. By providing monthly help and support to orphans and elderly, we provide them, we provide them with basics, we provide them with basic needs like food, clothing, pocket money, health bills, and educational support. We have assigned caseworkers that work closely with the orphans and the elderly. They visit them monthly, they buy them food, they visit them monthly, they provide they buy them food, they take doctors if there is if there is a need for medical support. We buy them clothes and for the kids, the, the orphans, we take them to, we we for the orphans, we provide educational support. We provide education educational support by paying their school fees. We also pay their madrasa um, we also we also pay with their madrasa and lessons. We also name what how do you say you put somebody in uh, Arabic school? We also enroll them in Arabic school and after school lessons. All of this we do and we provide and we provide quarterly reports to the sponsor. This helps us, this help us quarterly report to the sponsor. The offense and elderly sponsorship is a monthly commitment. But Alhamdulillah is a monthly commitment. Alhamdulillah, we have Alhamdulillah, we have we have many old elders and orphans that are being sponsored. And by that are being sponsored. And we hope that and we hope that we get more sponsorship by Allah's mercy. And we hope that we get more sponsorship by Allah's mercy. All of all of the work being carried out. All of our projects at Rafiki Foundation is being carried out by our dedicated volunteers. All of the work at Rafiki Foundation is being carried out by our dedicated volunteers. I would like to I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of them. We have representatives in the US, in the UK, in Saudi Arabia and Nigeria. They all give their time for the sake of Allah. May Allah accept all their deeds and reward them abundantly because it's not easy to commit your time and help others. We, only, we are only doing this for the sake of Allah. And um, I really appreciate everybody's info, input and everybody's efforts. I cannot thank you enough with your help, with your commitment and support, 
we've done a lot and we've accomplished a lot. Just I come like Karen. Lastly, I would like to thank our donors because without donations and without funds from our donors, we cannot carry out a lot of our projects. But we've been, we've been blessed with very committed donors. We've been blessed with people that reaches out to us like, oh, I would like to dig a borehole and help the community, right? I would like to feed people in Ramadan, right? We've been blessed with donors that just give us, um, that reaches, we've been blessed with donors that reaches out to us to help others. Jazakum like Karen. May Allah accept all your deeds and reward you abundantly. It's very, very, very difficult in, um, especially in today's society, to, to see people that are willingly donate for Allah's sake. We, give, we say thank you. The whole Rafiki team, we say thank you. We say thank you. Jazakum like Karen. We pray that Allah reward every penny that you've donated to us. May Allah accept your deeds as an act of a brother, and may Allah reward you abundantly. Thank you. So everyone that is here today, thank you so much for honoring our invitation. Jazakum like Karen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.